Hey everybody, Tom here, and today I want to teach you how to play Altiplano. Uh, Altiplano is kind of a sequel of sorts to Orleans, a um, bag building game that I'm a huge fan of. I really love Orleans, and let's take a look at how this game plays, and then at the end of this gameplay I'll just share some brief final thoughts with you and we can decide how much I like this one uh, compared to Orleans. Now, here in the center of the table, you're going to see uh, seven locations, and they are kind of randomly put out there. Uh, these are going to represent places where we can get these new chits uh, to add into our chit stuff, <laughs> or over here. Um, we have some, you know, money tokens and things like that over in this place. Here we have a scoring sheet. We'll look at that really soon. Uh, we have an expansion board uh, market kind of a thing where we have the option to expand our actions that we have available in our two play areas. As per usual, in case you haven't seen my channel, uh, I have these colored papers underneath the play areas just to make sure that it's really clear uh, which player is taking the turn at any given time. And uh, here, let's look at this scoring sheet. So in this game, obviously you're trying to score the most points, and points can come in a lot of different ways. But basically, as you're looking at the game, anywhere you see a star symbol, uh, that's going to be points. So there are some of these um, tokens that we're going to look at soon. A lot of them don't score any points. Um, and so, for example, here is a little reference guide that every player can have. I'll probably keep these off camera a lot, but it shows you that these five resources in this zone uh, don't earn you any points at the end of the game. Take a special moment to note, there we go, that money does not earn you any points at the end of the game. Neither does this corn stuff or basic food. Um, or a regular alpaca or fish. These don't get points at the end of the game. Those are just used to help you get other resources that do get you points. So, you know, there are resources that have varying um, point values here. Those will get you points. And then there are also cards. You can see three spots where there are cards. Those will get you points. Boats will get you two. Houses will give you four plus some more. Uh, and then also there will be contracts available uh, that when fulfilled, they'll get you points. And also, you'll see these warehouses, they have some points available on those. And if we were playing with the expansion, which we're not, mission cards would give you some points as well. So I'm just going to probably keep that off screen for the most part. Um, but yeah, so this is the main play area. We're trying to get as many points as possible by getting the right kinds of resources or the right cards um, there. So let's go ahead and zoom into the blue play area. Let's learn how to play. So here we are looking at the blue play area, and there's a couple of things worth pointing out over here as well. First of all, the game does come with this alpaca that traditionally does have some legs so that it can stand up on the table, um, but that makes it really hard to see in the gameplay video, so I have taken that out, and we'll just have a legless alpaca hanging out there with us. Um, some other things to point out are that each player are going to start with this bag, into which you're going to be putting these different um, tokens. In the rule book, they call them tiles, and those go in here. I traditionally don't have this hand available while I'm playing because it's kind of stuck behind the camera. And also, I kind of find it really tough to grab the tiles out of the corners of this bag. Somehow they kind of get lost. So just for this gameplay video, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the bags for the players. And instead, I'm going to kind of treat this cup as a bag. And when I draw from this bag, I promise you I will close my eyes, I won't look. Uh, but this will be a lot easier for me to draw and to know when I have taken the chips out of the bag. We also have each player starts off with a container that I have rubber banded just to hold it together a little bit better. And this is almost like your discard pile right here. Now, uh, each player also has this guide, which for the most part, because you can see there's a lot of stuff going on, I'm going to go ahead and take this off camera, but it does show you our resources, and I'll bring it back when we talk about uh, resources at different points. Okay, so uh, a game of Altiplano takes place over lots and lots of rounds, and each round has four different phases. The first phase is that you're going to draw, uh, you're going to draw these chits, which again the rulebook calls tiles, but I likely won't, uh, out of the bag, which is this for me for this video. You're going to draw things out of the bag and put them on to your board. In the beginning of the game, each player is randomly given one of these tiles. This is going to give us an extra action, which we'll talk about shortly, but it also tells us what things we're starting with. And at the beginning of the game, uh, you can have a maximum of four tiles down here, more on that soon. And so we just have taken these tiles and put them down here uh, to start off. 
So uh, for the first phase of the game, we go ahead and draw tiles out of the bag and put them down here. And at the beginning, each player has a marker here on the tile called the road. And on the road, it's going to show you the maximum number of tiles that you can have starting on your uh, board. And you'll check that at the beginning of each round. So right now, the blue player and the red player can have a maximum of four. So in an example where, by chance, we had these two tiles already here from a previous round, and there were a bunch of things in here, we could draw, at most, two tiles to fill in these phases right here. Okay? So that's kind of the draw phase which will have happen. And it's worth just taking a moment to visit the red player area. I've already moved the bag out of the way. I'll go ahead and keep this here for right now. Um, but eventually I'm going to be filling up this space, I'm guessing, with different things. And I'll just point out that this is going to be our woodcutter, the red player. They started off with these three tiles and also two money tiles. Or two money. And, um, ooh, I want to keep that up a little higher. Yeah just so it matches. So I, you can see that I'm kind of putting the forest tile near the forest on my player board. So yes, let's get rid of this. And so I'm putting these three tiles down here to start. We've got our two money over there. So again, I'll clear up this phase a little bit later when there's more action happening on it. Uh, but for now, we're going to move on to phase two of the game. So phase one is draw your chits. And phase two is to plan stuff out. So on your board, you're going to see here a whole bunch of these beige colored circles, not these ones, but you're going to see these beige colored circles here, as well as a wood and a stone. So here, I'm going to move these off just for a second. And you're going to, going to have to half ignore exactly what I'm going to say for a second. Uh, you'll see that these dots are are dotted around the outside. Okay, so These circles have a dotted outline. That shows you where you could place these different tokens. Okay and you can only ever put one per space. And the reason why I say half ignore me is because we obviously fill up things down here. During the planning phase, we're gonna move these tokens off of there onto these spaces. So we could go onto these beige colored circles. We also could put food tokens here, here, or here. And we could put a wood here and a stone here. Now, uh, this was what I'm about to say it was confusing for me the first time I played this. I had to kind of reread the rule book a couple of times. But you're going to notice that each player starts with their own starting tile. And this space is dotted as well. Which means that if I want to take this action, I could put an alpaca tile on this part of the board right here. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to go on this part of the board. All right, so in the planning phase, basically what you're going to do is you're going to look at the tiles that you have and put these tiles somewhere where you'll be able to take an action. So for example, I could take this alpaca tile and put it up here, and then on during a different phase of the game, we're going to be able to convert this alpaca into some wool. Uh, taking a look at the food, what can we do with the food? Oh, and do you know what? I super forgot during the setup video, and I forgot to mention it at the beginning of this, I need to start off, each player starts off with one cart. So let's go grab those. And this is important because these different, seven different tiles, I'm just going to point out these icons. So we have like a harbor, a village, uh, the mountains, we've got a market, I think, the road, uh, an alpaca field in the forest. These are going to show, like we have to have our worker on these places to perform different actions. And these different carts are going to help us move around. So each player starts with one of these. Let's give this to the red. And we're going to put it right here. And then we're going to take one to the blue. And that's going to go right here as well. Okay, so more on that in a second. But for now, what I'm saying is that I want to go visit uh, my house. And my plan there is to convert my alpaca to wool. What else could we do? Now, you can put these chits in different places, but be aware that you're going to have to travel to these different places to perform the actions, which is why I noticed that I need my cart here, my wagon. So, look in here. <clears throat> Any of these tokens that you put on these beige spots, you're going to need to look at the corresponding actions near those spots. So, do you know what? I'm going to zoom in as close as I possibly can, and let's talk about what these different things will do. So here as we take a closer look, again, you're going to have some tiles that specify exactly what you can and cannot put on there. And these other ones are kind of generic because a lot of different things could happen depending on what you put on that tile. So for example, if we look over here, if I are, if I are, <laughs> I'm not even editing that out, it's staying. Uh, 
<laughs> if I are in the llama field or the alpaca field, I don't know the difference between a llama and an alpaca. I should because I think there's a llama farm two houses down from me. It doesn't matter. So here on these spots, it looks like I could put either a singular alpaca or an alpaca and a food or a wool and a food. And depending on what I put here, when I take an action, I can get one of these. I can get either a food or a wool or um, a blanket. Um, I could put two alpacas here with the intention of getting two foods back. Um, I just couldn't put two foods up here because I can't do anything with two foods or with a single food. So these are kind of generic looking because they're intended to be generic. Uh, let's look at the mountains while they're here. On the mountains, if I put two foods here, I can convert that into one stone. Or if I put a coal and a food here, I can convert that into a silver. Or if I'm over here in the house of my house, I can do this action up here, as I already mentioned. Or depending on what I put here, this is saying I could convert one coin. So I haven't really talked about coins, but we do have some money. There is an economy in this game. If I put a coin here, I could buy a new cart that would help me travel around more. We'll discuss traveling in a minute. Or if I put two stones, then I could go get a house card, and the house card is gonna help me get points, um, and we'll talk about that more later. Or what this is saying is that I could put um, whatever generic, whatever tokens that I want to into one, two, or three of these spaces, and eventually put them in my warehouse to score points. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Okay, so here at the harbor, two tiles available. If I do a fish and a food, I'll get more food. If I do two fishes, I get a stone. If I put two woods, I can get a boat, which will help me get points. Down here, uh, it's a little hard to see here. Let me adjust the camera. There we go, that's a little bit better. Down here, um, I could put a single wool or a single alpaca on either or both of these to get a single coin each. Or I could put a stone or a coal to get a single coin. Or I could put a blanket to get two coins. So this is kind of the marketplace. Uh, I could put a silver to get three coins. Or if I wanted to buy an expansion so I could get more powers, more spaces like the one I have at the top of the board, I would need to stack whatever money I'm willing to spend into one space. And for one action, I could spend that money in order to buy an expansion. Or I could put one coin here to buy a contract. Or I could put tokens on here to begin to fulfill the contract. Okay, so I'm just trying to walk you through this idea that we have these generic spaces and depending on the location of those generic spaces and what you put on them, you're going to get different abilities. Finally, we have these two spaces here because if you put uh, two food, you could get a wood or if we have these, I don't know if these are cocoa beans or cacao beans. It looks like they're pronounced not as cocoa, but cacao and I don't know the difference. Um, that would be things that we could put here to get these items here. Or finally, if I wanted to continue to build a road to open up more spaces for myself and get some corn, we'll talk about that later, I could put some wood, a wood, and a stone into this spot, and that's going to help me move on my road. So with that in mind, I'm kind of just thinking to myself, it would be awesome, of course, to build a road, but I don't have any wood here. But that doesn't mean I can't put a stone here and just keep it there until I get a wood. I hope to get a wood eventually. Um, I'm just not sure if there's a better placement for this stone. For me, it kind of looks like maybe what I should do is uh, while I'm at the market, taking care of, you know, getting my alpaca brushed, or no, while I'm at the house, sorry, the market's down here, while I'm at my house, uh, maybe what I should also do is invest in getting another cart. So why don't I plan on getting another cart while I'm at the market? And similarly, why don't I plan on some food so that if I need to move around, I could move around. I just don't see any other place to put my food for right now. And finally, for the stone, you know, let's plan on going to the market to sell some stone since I'm going to be buying a cart anyway. I could spend another coin to get another cart, maybe. Having two carts isn't a terrible idea. And while I'm feeling and sounding wishy-washy about that and wishing that this was more centered, let me just say once again, for anybody not who hasn't seen my videos, this is not a strategy guide. I will not teach you how to play this game well because I'm still learning. There is so much to get in this game. A uh, couple plays in, I'm still struggling with strategy. This is just how to play the game correctly. 
And with the blue player all planned, let's kind of take a peek down here at the red player. And I should mention that when you're playing in real life, the this planning stuff happens simultaneously. So does the drawing. So people draw their chits, lay them down, and they, oh, hey, here's this hand. And then um, they... Uh, plan things out at the same time. So this is all happening simultaneously. It's going to make my video longer than a typical two-player video, but at least we're going to have a good grasp on what these players are doing. So it's not a bad idea to plan on getting some more wood. So I'm going to send my woodcutter out, give him some food, and he's going to give me some wood in return. I don't know that I see any combination of things I can do with an alpaca and a wood. Um, ooh, I could spend a single alpaca to get a single food. And my wood, do you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it up here, knowing I'm going to get another wood so that I can get a boat soon. And that seems like a really neat plan. So both players are all ready to go. They are completely planned out. But I'm noticing as I was about to move away, okay, again, this game is heavy thinking, heavy, heavy thinking. So one issue that you have to keep in mind when you're planning is you have to be able to travel from one place to the other in order to do all of these things. And your traveling is basically going to come from these different cubes moving. I don't have another cart and I would have to be able to move myself. So I guess what I'm saying is you can move one time during your turn per cart that you have. And we've only got the one cart to begin. So if this guy, for example, starts out in the forest to get this, I'll be able to use my carts to come up here to get the food. And that's okay, because I don't even need to go to the harbor right now because I don't have the other wood. So even though I'm kind of looks like I'm planning on going to three places right now, I'm really only going to be visiting two uh, to begin. Okay, let's go to the blue player. So now we're going to move on to phase three of the game, which is where we actually execute all of these actions that we have planned. So again, in order to execute an action, you need to be in place in order to do the thing. And <laughs> do the thing, get the points. And so it looks like to start off the game, the very beginning of the game here, we're going to choose uh, our where we put our guy. It can be any one of the seven spots. Since I'm planning on doing a lot at my house, let's go ahead and put this at the house place. So there we go. Here I am at the house. While at the house, I could choose to do any one of these three actions that I have previously planned. So let's just go ahead, mm, probably strategically, carts are limited and they are a big commodity really. So my plan is let's go ahead and turn in this one coin in order to get a cart. Now usually when you pick a chit, as you're about to see, you would actually just put this into your, um, your container as your discard pile, but with money, you always just return money back to the center or wherever you're keeping your money. So turn in the coin to pick up a new cart, and we'll put that cart down here in that second place. So there was that. That was an action for the blue player, and now it's time for the red player to take one of their planned actions. So, of course, the red player needs to begin by placing their character, so they're planning to visit the forest and uh, the llama field, Probably doesn't matter right this second which one I'm going to necessarily. Well, hmm, it kind of does. Let's, uh, we'll talk about why strategically when we get there. But for now, let me start here in the alpaca field. And the reason why I kind of started to stutter and say, well, maybe it does matter is because you'll notice that it goes alpaca field, forest, and then harbor. These are the three places I'm planning to visit in the next little bit. Um, so I thought maybe it would be best to start down here and then we could work our way up and around. Okay, so now that we are there in the field, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn in this alpaca. And that is going to let me grab one of these food tokens. These are unlimited, so I keep them kind of right here. The corn is not unlimited. It's just where I had space to put these. So I'm going to grab this food. And anytime you grab uh, one of these tiles from doing an action, what you do is you always put it in your discard pile as well. So again, the container is kind of your discard pile. That's what we've done in the field. So we are kind of done there in the field. Once again, knowing how valuable carts are, I think we just won't even hesitate, even though it's obvious the red player isn't planning to do this, but let's just get some more carts so that we have the freedom. In other gameplays that I've done, I have found myself so limited by movement that I've gotten frustrated, so I'm probably overcompensating for this a little bit, but hopefully it'll be worth it. And as I was coming over to do this, I actually remembered and had to double check the rulebook because I just completely forgot. You, this is such a commodity, right? It's very important to get cards. You can actually only do this once per turn. So I'm going to keep this in here. I'm not going to undo it just because this is a good learning experience, hopefully for everyone. 
just a reminder, you can only get one cart per turn. I had to look it up. I struggled with this rule book. So let me take this coin back. And I really technically probably should put this back here because once you place something into a spot, it needs to stay there until stuff we'll talk about later. So um, I'm gonna put this here, even though I done goofed, it's gonna stay there. And then instead for this action, let's go ahead and put this alpaca into our container, our discard pile, and go pick up a wool. And once again, it's a little head scratchy. I'm over here, but I'm still grabbing one of these wool tokens, but that's okay. And that's gonna go right here. Now, I'll also take a moment to say that at the beginning or end of any turn that you do, you can use one of your carts in order to move your player. Um, I usually just do it at the beginning of the turn. I'm not exactly sure what the thinking is behind doing it whenever. I think they just mean that you can move at any point. So for now, we'll stay here, and then I'll talk about movement on the next turn. Well, we're gonna talk about movement right now with the red player because there's nothing else that they can do in the field. They've gotta get either to the harbor or to the trees. And so when it comes time for movement, what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide your cart over and this shows that you can move one to three spaces with your very first cart. And so that will get you anywhere else on the board because there's only seven tiles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide this over and I'm gonna let my guy travel one to three spaces away. So again, you could go one, two, three, you could go one, two, three, or just one. I'm just gonna hop up here into the forest. I will turn in my food token to go grab a wood. And that will be the red player's uh, action for that turn. And in a similar vein, the blue player has done everything that they can do at their house because I done goofed about this. And so I'm gonna use my cart like this and move myself to, where was I planning on going? Oh yeah, over to the market. But really quickly, let's talk more about movement. <clears throat> let's say that I hadn't acquired this cart. If I had put a food here, this food will let you move to an adjacent place. So looking where I am now, had I not picked up the cart that I had, I would be able to come over to the harbor or to the mountain by spending the food. But where I do have the cart, I'm gonna slide this over and pay the food. And again, with all of these circular tokens, when you pay it, you don't put it like in a central place. This is actually gonna go into my discard pile and now I can move myself anywhere on the board that I want to. And I want to move from here all the way down to here. And from here, I'm gonna go ahead and turn in this stone to pick up a coin. So I'm just gonna grab the coin and coins just kind of stay in some uh, main area on your board. Next up, it's the red player's turn to go, but there's nothing else that they can do. Uh, again, they're kind of stuck on the forest with no ability to move anywhere, but they also don't even have the other action available on the harbor, so they're gonna pass. Similarly, the blue player can't do anything, uh, even had they wanted to use this coin. Um, I, again, I probably should have wisely placed this coin into the market to do more things in the market, but that was my mistake. But notice how I gained this coin during the turn, but it wasn't placed during the planning phase, so I can't do anything with this, even though I would love to spend that coin uh, to get an extension board, but that can't happen now. And so now that we have all passed, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna clean up, which basically means you're gonna slide these over and you're gonna kinda keep your things in position. With money, if you do want to, you could return your money back to your main area if you'd like to at this point. And I will do that. And if by chance you had, like let's say that I had put uh, this food, I don't, I'm making something up. Let's say I put the food there and it didn't happen. If I want to, I could pull this down into this area down here. You can't put it into your discard pile. You would have to keep it on your board into one of these spaces here. But for now, I had used it, so that's fine. And in that same vein, let me point out that we'll pull this card over. If I wanted to, I could pull this wood down and put it down here, but I don't really wanna do that. I'm just gonna call this good. Why did I put this over here? I have no idea. I'll have to annotate that. That was weird and confusing. Finally, I need to pass this fella along while acknowledging it might not be a fella at all. Maybe it's a girl alpaca. I don't know. I can't, I don't know. All right, so that's there. We have passed the buck, and now we are gonna go back to phase one. And phase one, if you remember correctly, was drawing from the bag, because this is my bag in this game, and filling up these spots up until four, because that's where our cubes are on the road. When there's nothing to grab from the bag, what you need to do is take your container, dump it into the bag, and of course you would not be able to see it. You would reach in here, grab four of the tokens, and you would place them, or up to four for right now, because that's as much as we can fill, and you're gonna place them down here, ready to plan. The blue player is gonna do something similar. They dump these in here so that they have things to grab, and then they're gonna grab four blindly out of the bag and place them onto these spaces, 
And now it is time for the planning phase. And just a reminder, this happens simultaneously when you are not one person and a camera and a partridge in a pear tree. So probably seems like a good idea to make it way back to the forest to get some more wood. I could put some wood up here in order to build a boat. And, oh, looks like a good idea. Maybe we could visit, oh, well, my thought was to come up here in order to gain some wool. The problem is that if I do that, I would have to be able to travel an extra time. I'm currently at the forest. I need to get to the harbor and also down to the llama field. So what if I do this? What if I keep this food down here and I could use that food to travel to the adjacent harbor and then I could use my carts to travel to the more distant um, forest and then I'll be able to get some more food which will hopefully help me travel you know at least one space at a time better. I would say that I could go to the market to get another cart but I don't think I'm going to be able to travel that much. So the cart is probably going to have to wait again, which is going to be my downfall. Just you wait and see. The blue player is currently in the market, so if they want to do market-like things, this is the place to do it. Um, oh, do you know what? There's one more part of cleanup that I completely forgot. And the reason why I'm pointing these out is because I was just thinking the blue player might want to buy these. So these are additional actions that you can buy to add them to your board. And if during a round nobody buys one of these expansion tiles, then what you do is you remove the lowest one and you slide these down, and I'll show you how these become cheaper, but that's what they do. I should have done this during cleanup, and reveal the next one, okay? So let me just point out that right now, in order to get this tile, oh, can you see? This is gonna cost one coin where I can convert food to fish if I'm at the harbor. Or this tile kind of costs one point. Oh, can you see it? There you go, uh, one coin. Uh, but it's going to be an additional coin in order to buy this because it's higher up. This is going to be plus two, plus three, plus four. Well, the blue player has two coins right now. They could use that uh, in order to make their llama feel better, or we could make our harbor better in order to convert food. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that. I'm thinking since I have this nice economy of having this llama giving me wool, Probably a good idea would be to have the food convert into, oh, not a llama, an alpaca. Pardon me. That's going to cost me two coins. So I'm going to grab these two coins. This is the only time you really stack things on the board. And I'm going to put these two here at the market. I'm going to put an alpaca up here like that. I'm not going to be able to use the board when I get it because I won't be able to plan on top of it because it's not here yet. Um, but let's think. What else? Well, I'm going to be needing to go here. I could use my one movement to do that because right now I'm at the market. I could hop up here. Would I be able to move again? Now, if you're going to use your cart, you have to have a food accompany it or you could have a food solo, but you can't just have this cart by itself. This is the only cart that can be by itself. And the reason I'm saying that is I would love to come up here and do this but I wouldn't have enough food to be at the market and move to the house to do this and come down here to do this. So, I don't know, what do I want to do? Probably, let's sell a stone. And I doubt that I'm going to make it to the house. I'll probably go here in order to get the wool. Or, oh man, what else could I do? I could... I mean, my other option is to keep the food down here, but if I do that, I can't do anything with this wool, and I can't even sell the wool at the market because I've already used my two market spaces, and I don't see anywhere else for the wool to go. Well, my goal is to do a lot of good stuff with the wool. Maybe while I'm at the house, I'll show you about putting things in the warehouse because I'm trying to build this economy of turning uh, food into alpacas and alpacas into wool, and then I can start putting wool into the warehouse in order to get points, and so we could talk about those points later. Okay, blue player is planned, and in an effort to not make these videos super long, I'll probably try to do most of my planning, at least in my brain, before time. I'm just trying to talk it through these first couple of rounds so that you can get an idea of the strategies and stuff. Uh, but for now, I'm standing here in the forest, which means I'm going to get a wood from this food. That was the red's action. Blue is currently standing in the market, so why don't we go ahead and buy uh, a board. Oh yeah, so these don't go in here. Remember, these just go back to the box-ish. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and buy this tile. And I'll keep this tile over here as close to the farm as possible because I'll probably still keep that container there-ish. 
and put my cup there. I don't. I moved it for the camera. Okay, and so now that action will be available to me next round. And from here, I was going to spend the food to move myself next next door, <laughs> so up here to the harbor. And from there, I want to turn in these two woods, and that's going to let us choose any one of these boat cards that we want to. So these boat cards are just two points at the end of the game, plus we're going to add a new chit into whatever we want to do. So what if I were to grab kind of whatever I want to add into the economy? It would be nice to get one of these coals. I could start making some silver, maybe, in the mountains. I don't know. I feel like every time I come over here, I'm like, ooh, I want that or I want that. This is the most valuable thing, but you can't really do a lot of stuff with it. Oh, do you know what we could do a lot of stuff with while we're in the forest? <gasps> yes. Let's get the cocoa bean or the cacao. What? Cacao? Cocoa. Uh, this. Let's get one of these. Okay. So from here, I'm going to grab this and a chit. And we just put the boat somewhere, it really doesn't matter where, um, here-ish, okay? So that'll just be two points at the end of the game, plus, oops, I need to put this in here. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing that. And over for the blue player, uh, we're still at the market, so we're going to go ahead and put this in here, and that is going to convert into one coin, so I'll just bring a coin down. <laughs> I keep turning, I'm not satisfied with how this is. <laughs> okay, and I'm really trying to stand here to avoid this light from, like, blasting you guys in the face. And there's nothing else for me to do at the harbor, so let's use our cart and move ourselves down into the field where I'll be able to convert this guy into food. Oh, I almost did it. Did you see that? But I didn't. And it looks like the blue player needs to make a trip to the house, the nice homestead. So we'll come on up here. Oh my gosh. I was going to... Oh, well, that would have been a good time to get the cart, but I... I think I knew why I didn't do that, but this would have been a great time to have the cart. That's okay, I could pick up a cart before I leave next time. Uh, but from here, uh, let's go ahead and do this one first. So I'm going to turn in my alpaca and get a wool. Kind of weird that it's coming from over here, but here it is. So we've got that. The red player doesn't have anything else that they can do. They are standing in the field, can't move anywhere else. They pass. And so the blue player is going to go ahead and add this token to their warehouse. So the way the warehouse scoring works is when you add a token, the first thing you need to do is put it on the very bottom left corner. Now from here, I can only add wool to this row or I can add corn. You get corn from moving, advancing on the road and from getting contract cards, stuff like that. But if I were to get a, cor a corn token, let's talk about that. If I get a corn token, this just immediately goes into the warehouse, which is why it's square. So corn tokens are kind of unique. They help you fill in rows. So I can only put wool or corn here. And as soon as I fill in this row, I have two points. Now, if I had put a corn in first, then I could choose, or if I chose to, right? So if I had a corn, if I had this wool, I could put a corn on its own, or if a corn was the first thing here, I could only put corn on this row. So it's kind of a wild, unless it's the first thing down. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and put this wool here, and where did I grab this corn from? I think I grabbed it from up here. And yeah, so I'm going to put a wool here, and then if I get a new item into the warehouse, it just needs to go on a new row. And again, you're just going to be able to score the rows that you were able to fill up. And so I'm going to do my best to fill up this one to get two points, get something else to fill in for three, or it could be wool after I fill this all the way up. Uh, so yeah, you can't start a new wool row until you finish your old wool row, things like that. So I'll keep clarifying uh, the warehouse aspect of scoring as time goes on, but notice you may never ever put food into the warehouse. So that was that for the blue player. And they can't do anything else. I mean, if I could, if I wanted to, I could move. If I was good enough about planning, I would move. Um, but I'm going to stay here for now. So let's call that good. The blue player passes, which is going to send us into the cleanup phase. So I'll just slide this back here. We'll slide this over here. Uh, I'll pass this in just a moment. But since somebody did buy something from here, we don't lose the bottom one. We just slide things down, add a new one. And hopefully it's obvious this, if you put two coins here, then you could get a cocoa bean, cacao, whatever. And if you put two foods here, you can convert it into that as well. I'm really glad the red player got one of those anyway. And finally, we'll pass the first player token. All right, so it's coming here-ish, because I don't know where else to put it. Maybe it doesn't matter. And what we need to do is we need to uh, grab some more of our tiles uh, to put them down here. There aren't any, and so I'm just going to dump them like this. 
and then we draw four because I don't have anything down there right now. Obviously, I've only got these three because I left this food up here. Again, I could have pulled that down if I wanted to, but I think it's okay where it is. And I had put my wool over here. And for the red player, nothing to grab. This time, they have a ton of things in here. So what I need to do is, I promise I'm closing my eyes. I cannot see what's happening. You could tell because I look silly. Uh, is that four, one, two? It kind of feels four-ish. Yes, that is four-ish. Okay, so we drew those from the bag. Put these down here like this. And now I'm totally regretting not having pulled the food down. I should have done that before drawing. Uh, it would have even made sense to do I just, I don't know. I wasn't thinking properly. But the reason why I should have pulled the food down is so that I could convert the food into an alpaca. And I can currently, you know, convert this alpaca to a wool. That's not a big deal. I've got to find a way to get some wood, though. That's going to take two foods. I really need some food. Um, all right. So... While we're at home, let's go ahead and put some more wool in the warehouse. That seems just like a, a swell idea because I'm going to be getting some more in. Not a lot of other stuff to do with it. And how do I get food? Um, I'm going to put this guy. I guess, do we just go back to the market? And then I got to pull this food. I got to be smarter. Guys, I got to be smarter. We're in the field right now. Let's go ahead and put an alpaca and a food up here. And since it's usually a good idea to go to the homestead, we'll put that there. I've got to get a stone somehow, but I can't underestimate, I've got to get some food. Okay, so food, I'm coming over here for some food. In fact, again, this is happening simultaneously. I just had a change of heart about some of the blue stuff. Um, wood, what could I do with the wood? Well, we could put it up here in the harbor. We have tons of wood on the way. Yeah, let's do a little pre-planning. Let's go like this. Where am I? I'm in the field now. I can't go to the harbor, but I could use my cart to come down to the forest. All right. Um, do you know what? This is silly. I need to use him to get some food. And so let's do this here. So currently, I'm at my house. I can do this one thing here. I could travel to here, and I could travel over here. All right. We're good there. Um, I think that was the end of the planning phase. Let's go ahead and execute our actions. I'm currently at the house, so I'm going to put this into the warehouse down here for my one action. The red player is in the field, so they are going to go ahead and put that there in exchange for some food. And the blue player is going to go ahead and travel. Let's go be friends with the red player. And from there, I'm going to go ahead and put this here and grab a food. The red player sees the blue player and is like, oh, I'm getting out of there, and there's nothing else here to do. So they're going to travel up to the forest where they're going to get some wood. And they're going to do that using this one here. The blue player's done in this part of the world. They do have a wagon and some food, so we'll turn that back in. Oh my gosh, why didn't I do that? I keep forgetting to do that. I'm so annoyed with myself. So we're going to go to the market. I'm still annoyed. And I'll go ahead and sell this for a coin that now that we're done, I mean, the red player has one more action. Before I forget, guys, I'm gonna put this here, okay? I'm breaking the rules, I need to not forget that. But I gotta decide what to do with this. Uh, I feel like I need more food stuff. I have plenty of food in there, don't I? Um, should I get a water, should I get a blankie? That blanket could get us some more, yeah. Let's go ahead and grab a blanket, just cause that could get us some more, I'm not even using my coins though. That's stupid. Um, let's get some water, right? As I said, water is four points. I guess this is wise. Yeah. The blue player's passing. The red player's passing. So he's got to do a little bit of cleanup. We'll put that cart back. I'm going to go ahead and put this here. No, that's the planning phase. This is not here still, okay? That's not there. We're going to slide our carts back to here. We could pass this token over. I'll put it here. <laughs> Nobody bought anything, so this is gonna come off. We'll slide these down. I just feel like I'm letting a lot of these opportunities go, and it's not on purpose. Our next tile, oh, okay. Uh, let me point out that the blue player has this action available, you know, to turn a an alpaca into wool, so they cannot get this at all. The red player could still, um, but the blue player cannot, because they already have an action that will do that same thing for them. And so, in the sense of, you know, uh, things happening simultaneously, what I'm going to do, now that we're starting to get better at this, is I'm just going to go ahead and draw my four from the bag. 
and these I didn't have to do blind because there were only four. And let me just also say, your information is always open information. So the fact that I could see that there was four, that's open. You can always look through your container or your bag to see what you've got where. And let's go ahead and just plan while we're here. I think we will definitely get some stuff here while we are in the forest. That's cheaper than doing this action. I'm gonna add some wood to the harbor. I'll plan on making that move there. Um, can I do anything else with this wood or this food? I guess I could plan to walk um, next door somewhere. Where would I go? Oh, I know what I could do. I could walk from the harbor to the house. I could turn in some wood because I'm going to get a lot of wood. And I could either get an expansion board or another cart. Might be good to get another cart. But also an expansion board is an important thing to have. Um... Let me go ahead. Oh, but the expansion boards come at the market. I can't make it to the market. So yeah, we'll just go to the house and we will get a new cart. The blue player doesn't have anything in their bag. They're going to dump their four tokens in. We'll take the four tokens out. And what are we going to do with these? Uh, well, at least we got food this time. So maybe what I'll do is turn food into an alpaca, turn an alpaca into a wool. I'm going to get a cart. I'm currently in the market, so maybe I could go ahead and get a coin. And with this additional food, I'll need to fund my traveling. Because I'm in the market, I'll need to get to the house and to the field. And I feel pretty good about that. I can't get more than one cart. Uh, let's grab, while we're in the market, let's grab an expansion tile. Our red player currently in the forest is going to kick us off by getting some wood. The blue player is going to go ahead and discard that coin so that they can get an expansion. I don't have any way to get fish now, but this is what I can afford. I hope to get fish soon to convert that into, I assume that's coal. All right, where should I put that? How about there? The red player is going to spend this food to walk over to the harbor. And from here, we're going to get a new card. Which card do I want? I probably want, maybe I should go for the water this time. Um, Because I've got... Hmm, well, what else could I use? Well, I could go to the mountains. Maybe I want, excuse me, uh, maybe I want this one. Okay, so I need one of these. And we'll introduce that into our little economy there. And that was um, the boat that we just bought. And while still in the market, we'll just go ahead and get a coin. The red player is going to move themselves to the house and they're doing that to get a cart. We'll put that right there. And that was the money. Oh, I need to get rid of that. The blue player is done in the market. And so they'll just use their first cart to go to the house and get another one. Guys, I remembered, are you proud of me? And that cost the coin. And the red player will go ahead and turn in some wood and that will get us closer to two points over there. And while we're at the house, we are going to go ahead and turn that in for some uh, wool. Nothing else for the red player to do, so they pass. The blue player is going to go ahead and use this cart in order to head over to the field where they're going to get another alpaca. Oh, man. And that came from this food here. And then at that point, they would go ahead and pass as well. So to clean up, we're going to slide these over. Move the expansions down. Oh, I keep bumping it. And get a new tile out. Oh, okay. So this is saying that you could turn in any one of your chits into your container in order to take something specific out of your container or your bag. So that kind of grants you a special ability that doesn't belong in any place. And then we're going to go ahead and get this uh, cleaned up there. I think that's all I needed to do to, needed to, do to clean up. And we're going to pass this guy over. Um, and so I don't forget for our placement, I'm going to go ahead and put that there so I can get another cart. And before I go ahead and do the next phase, um, I'm probably going to change these cups out because I can see that the light is not helpful. I can move my body. That's just, okay. I'm going to go see if I can find something different. But before that, I thought that while we've got our groove going on, we would talk about what will... What will um, trigger the end of the game. Uh, the end of the game is going to be triggered when any one of these tiles is completely out of resources. So if it's out of corn on this tile, or if it's out of these tiles, or these tiles, or cards and tiles, and all that stuff, as soon as one of these tiles is completely out of resources, 
or as soon as we cannot refill the expansion board because of those tiles, that's going to trigger the end of the game. So let's go ahead and get the blue player set up for their next turn, which means we don't have anything to draw from the bag. I have swapped out that cup because I just thought that was so blinding. And I've just put it on top of this so that it's visible. And also, so you remember that that's the bag, mostly for me. Uh, so we go ahead and dump this into the bag. And then I'm going to close my eyes and grab four because I still haven't advanced on the road any. Silly me. Um, okay, cool. So we've got... Uh, this stuff here, let's go ahead and plan. And for the blue player, I'm kind of feeling like it would be helpful if I ended up getting some wood, because I just don't have any. I have these two alpacas up here. So I'm actually going to use my two foods to get some wood. Um, I mean, some other things that I've been considering is maybe, you know, obviously continuing to get an alpaca and also traveling some more. But I think without a wood, I obviously can't advance on the road, and there's a lot of things I can't do. I'm also trying to keep an eye on how to get a fish. And currently my thought is if I can get a boat, a boat could give me a fish. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to put this stone down here. And um, I can't execute this right now, obviously. Um, and then for this wool, I could use this to get some money. Or I could get it turned into the warehouse. Um, but I'm not going to be able to travel because I don't have any food over here. I'm only going to be able to travel once. And right now I'm on the llama farm. So I'm going to have to travel down this way. I can't really do anything with this for now. Um, but I kind of want to keep it out of down here so that I can fill it all the way up. Let's plan on... I want to get it into the warehouse eventually. So I'm going to put that there. The red player is also out of tokens. So those are all going to go in here. They have a lot more. And I'm going to shake this up. And without looking, let's grab four. What was that? One, two, three, four. Okay. So we've got some wood and some food. So I'm thinking while we're at the house, we have this coin here to get our cart. Let's go ahead and put this into the warehouse. I'm going to use this to travel for food probably. Come down to the forest to get some more wood. And what would I do with this other food? Um, with this other food, I will... I'm in the warehouse. I can travel down here. Can't do... Oh, man. What am I going to do with this? Um, I definitely want to still be able to, to draw as many as possible. So I want to put this down somewhere. Let's put this... <laughs> Crap, I don't know. Uh, did I get a fish yet? I don't think I've had a fish, and I don't know why I threw that. Let's plan on eventually coming up to the mountain, because I know that there's a stone in the bag, so hopefully we'll get that soon, and we can convert that to a silver. That would be, that would be pretty neat. And I kind of feel like the blue player is falling behind a little bit, not intentionally. They're currently at the, at the llama place, which I don't have any plans for this stuff here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and move. And we're just going to hop over to the forest. And remember, my plan was to straighten this up and also to get wood. And I was getting that from these two pieces here. The red player is currently up here. So let's just take a turn, move this down to the warehouse. And it looks like the blue player needs to pass. Ooh, that was nice job, Blue. I'm, I'm doing real good with that one. I think the red player is going to kind of clean house a little bit. So they're going to go ahead and turn this in. And that'll get them their final cart, or the final cart available. And since blue passed, they're just going to keep plugging along. Let's go ahead and move ourselves down to the forest, where they're going to turn in that food for another wood. Oh, that doesn't go there. That goes there. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yes, so this needs to go here too. And I could move again, but I don't think I will. I think the red player will pass. We'll just go ahead and clean up a little bit, so we'll move that there. And the blue pair, <laughs> the blue pair is going to slide that back. And then what else do they need to do? We're going to pass this in a second. But nobody picked this one up, so that slides. This keeps coming down here like this. I'm doing terrible at grabbing these. I don't know what's wrong with me. Ooh, this is an extra action space. Um, so that's pretty nice, but it's really expensive right now. And we'll go ahead and get this guy passed over. All right, then from here, I need to come into my bag and grab four tiles. I can't see. You can see my hand is covering it. One, two, three, four. Yes. Oh, I still didn't get that stone. Okay, well, I guess that's cool. In my brain, I was thinking that this piece was a piece to go down here. It is definitely not. Maybe I'm crazy, but what if we come up here to get that stone that we need? 
um, from a boat. So we're going to build a boat at the harbor. While we're at the forest, let's go ahead and turn this into something amazing. And, um, hmm. Well, oh yeah, that was, that's right. I was looking for this piece to go right there. This, should I put it here? I could put it there. Um, I'm currently in the forest. I won't be going to the mountains just yet, but next turn for sure. Um, I could go to the alpaca place and we could go to the harbor. Yeah, we're pretty close to all of those. The blue player has got to get their butt in gear. So they've got these two here. We dump these in. I need to grab two more. I got to do it randomly. I really need a wood. Let's see, grabbing two. What have I got? Oh, okay, good. Oh, that got stuck. Okay. All right, so the blue player definitely wants to put this down here. We're going to work on our road, and it seems like it could be a good idea. Let's put an alpaca here to get another food. Let's put a food here to get another alpaca. Let's put an alpaca here to get another wool. Um, oh, should I put the food there? I can't travel to all those places. I'm currently at the forest. That's unhelpful. I can move once with that. So I probably, yeah, I'm going to move once and then we'll go to the house and do those two things with our other movement because I don't have, yeah, I don't have a third movement. Boo. So I'm noticing that the red player is out of money. I'm trying to work on that. So I'm going to turn in because we're currently in the forest. Um, I'm going to turn this one in to grab a blanket. Or is this just cloth? What is this? Um, I'm sure it tells me in the rule book, but whatever. We're going to keep calling it a blanket. So that's going to go there. That was the red's turn. And for the blue player, they're not doing anything in the forest, so we need to move first. And why don't we go on, ease on down the road here, and I'll be moving myself down one. So next time I'm going to be able to have five chits, which I hardly have any now. And I did that by discarding these two. The red player is all done in the forest, so we need to go ahead and move. Let's head to the harbor next. And we wanted the boat that provided that one, kind of this one right here. All right, so I'm gonna want this. That needs to come with this. And we're just working that away. All right. The blue player is done on the road, and so they need to go ahead and move by spending that food. And I believe their plan was to head home. And from there, we will just go ahead and add this down here. We have two points thanks to those wools. Uh, we're still pretty far behind the red player because they have two points per boat, and I think they have three boats right now. But I'm, I'm going to try. I'm doing my best, you guys. And the red player is all done at the harbor, so we're going to spend this food in order to also head home. Blue player's like, why are you following me? And the red player's like, I don't really mean to, but I totally forgot to discard these before, so I will now. And then they discard this one, and that's going to get them some more food. But that was a really dumb mistake. That wasn't happening at home. That was happening at down here at the farm. Sorry, that was weird and dumb. And while the blue player is at home, they'll discard this one to gain some more wool. And the red player has done everything that they can do. They pass. Same with the blue player. They're passing as well. And so we'll just straighten up by moving this over here. I've got to get on those expansion tiles. What am I thinking? I just can't think two players at once. So these guys are also gonna straighten up like that. This expansion is gonna leave us, slide the rest down. And finally, we're gonna flip up this one. Ooh, turn in a food to get a stone or a coal or whatever that is, rock. Or so I'm gonna look that up one of these days. Probably not now, cause I mean, having like an accurate, you know, video, that's, that's just not my style. And we're gonna go ahead and pass this over. Blue has one remaining tile in their bag, and then they dump this in. We're gonna go ahead and draw three more. Let's see, I can feel it. Oh, that's one, two, three. Well, that's not helpful. I was hoping to revisit the road. Okay, where are we gonna go now? Seems like I probably can and should go to the market to buy an extension tile. And um, let's see, I'm currently at the house. Let's add this here. Um, and in order, well, I'm at the house. I've got to go to the market. That's one tile. Uh, do I want to get more? Should I just keep cranking out these wools? Um, obviously, I'd eventually like to get this one down here. So my question is, do I put this up here and get a llama or an alpaca, sorry, and a food? Can I make it there? I'm at the house. 
come over here, but I also want to go to the market. Yes, I can do this. Okay, cool. That'll be a good turn for blue. And for the red player, um, oh, do you know what? The blue player actually gets to draw five. Do we? Uh, I'll go do that in just a second. Okay, what have I got? One, two, three, four. Okay, there's these. All right, what's the plan here? So the water, as far as I've seen, doesn't do anything really here. I can't remember. I feel like there might be an expansion tile for that. But mostly, I probably just want to get the water in the warehouse. So right now the blue, or sorry, the red player is up here. Uh, probably good to keep getting the wood rolling along. Uh, oh, I wanted to go to the mountains like that. Well, in order to do that, I'm going to need to travel probably. So I'm right here in the field. Um, I know I have a stone on the way and I want to get the water into my warehouse. So if I'm currently in the field, I move once to go here, move another time to go get that into the warehouse. I don't have any money, so what was I trying to do? Oh, I was trying to get some stuff so that I could sell it, but it's stuck over here. Okay, that's right. I, I think I remember what I'm doing. But over here, I need to pick up one of these, so let me just shake it out, grab one. Okay, so this is my fifth one. Oh, road. I love that, but can I make it there? So I'm currently at the house. I'm coming down here for one movement. Oh, I'm coming over there for another. Maybe I should forego. Or maybe, if I really want to do that movement, I'll come down here. So that I, I'm starting here, moving once with that one, moving twice with the next one, moving three times. Sure, I'm, I'm in need of more food apparently, so maybe that will be worth it. And either way, they're starting us off. So from the house, we're gonna go ahead and convert this into wool. Again, even though we're standing over here, that's okay. We're grabbing that. Oh, oops, this was supposed to go over here. Sorry, my bad. And yep, that was the blues turn. The red player did not plant anything in the field where they are, so they're gonna move to the mountains. We haven't been there. So we're gonna convert these two into silver. The blue player is gonna go ahead and move themselves to the market. Yeah, so I'm gonna to go to the market where I'm gonna spend this. So down here, and I was thinking I would pick this up because again, these beans kind of get us a bunch of stuff. So if I could put two food here from the forest, that would be good. Not exactly sure how to put this, maybe I'm gonna put that there, move this here, and the alpaca will hang out over here for now. Sure, that looks real neat. And the red player is gonna move from the mountains into uh, the house. And from there, they're gonna go ahead and store this water because I don't, I don't know why else we would need it. Um, but also, I want you to keep in mind that I will get points for the resources that are down here. Um, again, the ones that are worth points, and wood is worth one point each, water is worth four points, if I remember correctly. Um, but also, of course, I'm going to try to fill this up, so I'm going to try to get some more water. Um, but the other thing that I was going to point out, or to re-say, is that uh, these tokens are worth points no matter where they are, unless we're fulfilling a contract, and I haven't even done contracts yet. i got to get some money. So, um, as soon as I get money, I'm going to, let's talk about contracts. I know that I haven't yet, and it's kind of silly. In fact, it's it's silly enough that I just want to take a brief moment to discuss it. So with contracts, you spend one con or one coin while at the market to pick one up. And again, you can browse through them and decide whatever you want to do. And if you see a combination of things that you like, well then on subsequent turns, you can put tokens down on the market action spaces and eventually put them onto these. And once tokens are on these, they don't have any value for their normal value. So silver is no longer worth three. And these rocks are no longer worth one, and wool is no longer worth uh, two. But instead, altogether, they would be worth 14 points, and I would get a corn. So that's kind of how contracts work, and I need to keep my out on, eye out on that better, have something worth working towards. But for now, the blue player was just going to move to the, uh, to the road. And from the road, they are going to spend that wood and that rock to move this down. And that's going to gain them a corn. And remember, corns only go into the warehouse. And if I had an open space available down here, I would have the option to put the corn down there, just kind of as a filler. But since I don't, I'm going to have to kind of put this on its own. And corn can only be put on this row now. Uh, it's not really a wild right now. I've just got to fill that with corn, which means I've got to either work on a contract or keep working on the road. Um, and, and yes, I need to spend those.
Looks like the red player is passing and the blue player is going to go ahead and travel um, up here to convert this guy into food. So I just got to bump him over. And the red player had already passed, the blue player is now going to pass, and so we'll, let's just go ahead and reset uh, that part of the board. The red player also needs to reset. Of course, I haven't mentioned this in a while, I have the choice if I wanted to bring this back up here, I could. I don't want to. So we'll slide these guys down. Get a new one. Um, oh, here you could use money instead of food when you're using your cart. That's a great card. Um, Okay, well, they're all good. I just am being terrible at using them. So let's pass this guy over. And it is time to get serious about having some money. So, uh, again, he's going for four, so there's that. Dump these all in. And we need three more. I'm going to just draw these random. Can't see. My eyes are closed. I feel like that's three. Yep, there they are. Okay, so we got one, two, three. Oh man, and I still don't have the wood. Oh, but I got the wood down here already. Okay, so I know that I'm putting this here. Uh, the blanket, time to go get some money. We'll go to the market, which means I'm gonna need some food for traveling. And I need this. I'd love to convert this into water, but I'm not gonna be able to make all of those trips, I don't think. So right now I'm at the house. Um, I can move twice. So market or down here, we'll definitely want to go to the road, and then I could decide which of these two places I want to go to. I'm going to guess that I probably want to go get some water first, or another blanket. I could get another blanket and sell both of those. I, I don't know. I'll think about it. So the red player also is going to draw this one, dump these in, and I need to remember I'm drawing four more because they are up to five on the road. Let's see. One, two, oh, that was too many. Uh, I don't know. Can't... Uh, what is that? There we go. That's four. Bring that around. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, what the crap am I doing? I feel like I'm really in the need. I don't know. I need some money. But for now, let's get some food and another alpaca. I have no idea if this is a good strategy or not. And then let's dump both of these wools back into the warehouse. I could be using those to get money. I really maybe should be using those to get money. I don't know what the heck I'm doing, but I didn't have two food to use that to get a bean this turn. Um, but I'm currently in the field, and then I'll move once. Yeah, that's going to be the blues plan. So the red player is going to start off by moving, because I can't do anything up here at the house. Should I go to the market first, or the road first? Or the forest? Um, oh, I didn't think... Oh yeah, I did think this through. I just barely talked about it. <laughs> I'm definitely going to the, let's go to the road first. So we're coming down here, moving down. Uh, now we can pick up five uh, tokens each turn. So those go in there. The blue player's in the field, so we'll go ahead and convert that to a llama. Alpaca, alpaca, it's an alpaca. Oh, no, wrong place, there. From the road, we need to move. Um, I'm gonna come to the forest. The reason I'm going to go to the forest is maybe I'll pick up another blanket and sell both blankets and have four coins. Um, yeah. Oh. So that goes in there for that. The blue player is going to go ahead and convert this into another food. The red player can no longer move. They pass. The blue player was going to head over to the house. And since the red player has passed, I'll just go ahead and do two actions where I add these. Oh, I can't add these here. I'm going to add these up here like that. And now they can pass and clean up. Clean up, clean up. Everybody everywhere. Is that right? Discard this. Slide these down. Gosh, these would be so good. I have let both players get so bankrupt right now. It's really dumb. And I still haven't even really gotten fish into the world. Oh, I was going to do something... I was going to build a boat and get some fish with the blue player, wasn't I? It is. I I normally do struggle with strategy, but like keeping two strategies in my brain. I am really struggling keeping these two strategies. Sorry. But we're going to go ahead and pass this. And Oh, we were keeping it over here, right? All right. So now I'm going to draw five from here. There's four. So one, two, three, four, like that. Dump these off, shake them up. 
I need, all right, there's a food. Okay, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go to the road, and then from the road, probably wanna get some more wool to keep going on that warehouse, and all this food. What am I gonna do with this food? We can go over there and travel. So where am I currently? I'm currently at the house, then I could travel over to the llama field, do whatever there. So that would be one, move with the other. Where do I put this food to get out of the way? Oh, I could start preparing for this one. Let's do that since I, you know, bought it. And for the red player, let's see, they also get to draw five this time. What is this? One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So we got a silver. Ooh, let's take that to the market, shall we? Because, yeah, the blanket I was thinking about, I'm not going to come up with for another turn or two. So if we go make some money off of those, that will help out a lot. I wanted to use this. Oh, man, I didn't get any food. Where am I? I'm in the forest? Well, that's that's crap. Um, okay. Well, let's get these up into the harbor to buy a boat. And let's put this here for whenever I can use that. Uh, and my alpaca. We will put the alpaca here. Again, I'm just trying to keep these empty so that when I draw, I'm still drawing a full five and I'm hopefully filling things up wisely. So from the house, blue is going to go ahead and convert this into wool. The red player planned nothing for the forest, so they're going to move. We'll go to the market. Uh, oh, duh. there we go. And for one action, we'll sell the silver. That will get us three coins that I promise I'll use. And the blue player will head to the road. We'll just hold off on that, and I'll get rid of these now. And now they can draw six tokens at a time. And the red player will go ahead and sell that one to get two coins. Like that. And why I use this cart and not this cart, I have no idea. Your guess is as good as mine. Uh, but we're going to do that one to head up to the farm. And by farm, I mean field. And from there, I was going to grab one of these with that. Red can no longer move, so they are going to pass. And I got a plan to go to the harbor next time. Blue is also done, so they're going to pass. Let's just do a little bit of cleanup. Keep that there. We lost this expansion, and this one comes down, but it's really cheap. That would be great for the red player to grab. And we'll go ahead and grab this one. Oh, convert a coin into one of those. That's neat. How have I still not grabbed any fish? Get this guy passed over. And, uh, yep, we're up. Okay, so we're all cleaned up. I am grabbing uh, five for the red player. One, two, three... Four, five. Hmm, we're kind of missing a road opportunity there. Ooh, we're missing a lot of opportunities here. Because I don't have any food. Let's see, this is kind of a crazy thought. But while we're at the market with these things, let's sell these. Oh, no, I wanted to buy something. Let's sell one and buy the one that's about to disappear. Because the blue player doesn't have any money. Yeah, so while we're at the market, we could do that, and then I could add the food here to get a silver, and where will I put this? This could start getting ready to head to the warehouse. We still haven't even bought any houses yet. Those are four points. Those are good. Um, hmm. Well, this would be good in the forest, for sure. This one, let's get ready to put that in the warehouse. Do I want to aim for my road? Oh, do I have another? No, I don't even have another one of those. Um, how do I get more of these? Oh, that's two food up there. Hmm. Well, I'll put that there. I don't know. It's going to be a while, huh? Okay. I know that I've got a wood coming up. All right. We'll put this down here and work on our road. And for the blue player, we are grabbing these three. And then we need three more. If I, yep, we're up to six as I just take a peek over at the road. Okay. Uh, one, two, what is that? Three. Okay. All right. What the heck are we doing? Uh, we are currently in the field. 
So might as well do some conversion while we are here. That seems like a real swell idea. And then we could hop over to the homestead for that, head to the road again, and we need some food for the trip because we are here, we'll move there. Yep, all right, blue player is good. Oh man, when am I gonna come down here and do that? I don't know, not now though. So the red player is gonna spend this coin, um, here, I'll just discard it, to get an expansion tile. The one that costs one is an extra action space. And this works as an extra action space for like anywhere on your on your main action board. So if I wanted to do more stuff at the market, I could put it down here or whatever. It's, it's open for all of these spaces, just not your roll tile or other expansion tiles. So that was that. The blue player is here, so we'll put that food down. We're almost out of these tokens. And we got that one there. The red player is gonna sell that blanket for two coins. I gotta start using those. Again, my plan is to get those with expansion boards. And the blue player will simply convert this one into food. And I think I'm gonna get the red player to head into the harbor or mountain. I know I'm gonna swing back around to the village, so it'd be good to have some silver for that. But for now, let's go to the harbor because I wanted to grab, while we were at it, um, a water. Yeah, I wanted to get a water. So I'll grab this water from down here and we'll put that in there. The blue player is done in the field, so let's head down to the road. So over here, we're gonna bump this down one more and we grab a corn. And I could decide to put this here or here. I'm not worried about my ability to get more wool, but since corns have to go down here, I think that's the best place for that. The red player doesn't have any more movement. I gotta get that thing that converts coins into movement. That's kind of my next plan. Uh, so they're gonna stop. And the blue player was gonna travel from the road to the house to get, uh, what was I getting? Oh, one of these. Oh man, only one more of those. And at that point, they're gonna be done as well, so Let's clean up, slide these back over, slide this over, pull these down like that, and convert a money. Okay, so this is kind of like taking your money that's not worth any point to the end of the game. We're kind of starting to get to this place where we can convert them into things that are useful. Um, but Red Player really has their eye on this one, so they can move around a lot faster. So we'll just hand this over, put it right there. And let's start our next time. So we are grabbing these four. One, two, three, four. Plus dumping these in here and grabbing another two. All right, wow, this is kind of a boring turn. Nothing, nothing super fun or exciting happening here. Uh, I would love to fill this, I'm, to fill that up, I'm gonna need a road card. Uh, what if I finally put my money here? That seems smart. Um, and then I can plan on storing that, converting that. Uh, there's only one more. I gotta remember that. There's only one more. Then that's gonna kind of be invalid because your resources are limited that are on the in the center of the board. So um, after that, I could start putting these into the warehouse. Probably will be my plan. But for now, oh, there's one more alpaca available, so let's put that there. And in fact, why don't we start sending these in? Because we're basically, I think we're basically done with those. And our red player is going for five still. Tons of food this time. Well, they can move around a lot. Uh, and no, uh, let's see, where are we? They are at the harbor right now. I wanted to visit the mountain. And then I wanted to head over here. Okay, so that's fine. I can go to the mountain and then mountain. I can go over here to the market. In the market, I'm gonna spend three coins to get that one tile that will let me use coins to move around more. I could put this over here down at the road and I can move to the road. Let's see, where else did I wanna go? Um, is there anything else worth doing? Uh, well, I do have a lot of food. I could start making those conversions that would only cost two coins, but I wanted to save these coins for traveling, probably, right? Probably. Well, um, I don't know if I'm gonna, okay, hold on, where am I? 
Again, I'm at the harbor, so I'm going to use one of these to travel to the mountain. Okay, so that would be one of them. I'm going to use another one to travel over to the market. That would be another one. And I wanted to come over to the forest, probably. So while I'm at the forest, why don't I get a wood? Oh, and the road. Okay, so that's the plan. Because uh, I can use one food without a cart to move adjacently. Do I want to buy? Probably. Yeah, let's just pa Yeah, let's buy that other expansion. All right, let's just go ahead by converting this alpaca into a wool. And that's the last one on that board. Remember, one of the endgame triggers is if you have a board completely cleared of all of the tokens on it. And do you know what? While we're here, I had completely forgotten that I have this, but I do have a use for this one over here. So what I'm going to do is semi-cheat um, because things happen. And I'm going to say that this is going to be an extra action space over here at the market. And I would like to, where do I want to go first? I have so many places I need to go. I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and spend the food to uh, move one place adjacent to where I am now. And let's come down to the forest. And from there, I'm going to be picking up a wood by spending uh, the food. And the blue player will just go ahead and add this to their warehouse right there. There's four points completed. The red player is going to go ahead and spend this one to get another water I think because I've got one water here one here so if I get a third one that will be three points and I'm realizing I probably am going to want to get this, this yeah so the reason why I added that coin is because I, I think I want to try to get this fulfill a contract um, I should have been doing that all along sorry and we'll go ahead and uh, well, what am I doing we're going to start putting that in here now we're done in the forest, so let's go ahead and head up to the mountain. And then we're going to get silver for that one. And we did that using these two. And blue is going to continue in the house, which, yes, let's acknowledge, is really called the village, but their house is in the village? There we go. And now let's send the red player to the road. And there, yep, and there we're going to just pick up a food. And you know what, because I might go the contract route, I'm going to put this here in the water space because just browsing through the contracts, I think I'm going to go for this top one. But is there a water one in here? I would imagine. Oh, no, there's, oh, yes. I could maybe get both of these contracts done if I could save uh, one of those water tokens. So there that there is. And we're finally done at the village house. Uh, so we're going to travel to... Why am I struggling with that? We're going to travel down to... Um, yeah, let's come down here and get that bean. And we use these two to do that. And sorry, I forgot to uh, do that. And next, we're done with the road. Let's head up to the market. Well, I guess it's not really up to it. Let's head... Adj next, let's head left to the market. The blue player would have liked to get up here, but we don't have any more way to travel, so they're just going to pass. And the red player has quite a few things that we're going to do in the market, right? Uh, we'll just take care of them all. I'm going to use this one coin <laughs> to uh, get a contract. I'm pretty sure I've got, I've got the makings for this contract, so we're going to bring this over. And let's put it here-ish. Now, Remember, when I put goods on this, I've got to put it through the market space, which is fine because that's why I ended my turn here. And so I'm going to load up these tokens here. They're going to lose their normal value, but instead together they'll become uh, 14 points plus a food. And the other things I was going to buy was this, and I don't know that I really need this necessarily, but oh well, too late. And we'll grab this one too. And we'll put this one down here because it's kind of a generic one that just tells me I couldn't, I can put coins up here, but now I'm out of coins. Uh, and then this one was in our mountains, so let's slide these boats over a little bit. Yeah, we'll put those right there. And of course, I'm losing my mind. I need to take this back and these coins like that. And with that, I can no longer travel, and so we'll just go ahead and reset. And so all of these are going to slide down. Man, I, I never got fishes. That is something else. Okay. Put that there. Ooh, another action space. Convert. I need two coins into one of those. Convert a coin in. Yeah, okay. And we'll go ahead and pass the alpaca. 
That looks like a good place for him is <laughs> going to be right there for now. And we're going to go ahead. We don't have anything else in our bag. And so I'm going to dump these out. And I need how many for the red? Red gets five still. One, two, three. Oh, man, I grabbed too many. Hold on. Four or five. All right. Uh, let's think here. Um, I could sell the silver to get some money. Then, because I've got another one in here for the contract, right? Yeah. So what if I, while I'm at the market, sell to get some money? I'm wishing this wasn't here anymore, but maybe what I could do, because I don't know what else I'm going to do at the market. What if I put my extra action tile up here? Kind of keep this here for now. And what if I add, oh, I don't have a wool. I was thinking about getting another blanket. What am I thinking? Um, yeah, I don't have a wool right now, but I could get a wool down here. All right, that will work. That's gonna require me moving, and then I could use these to go take another boat action or get another boat. For the blue player, I need six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see here, what can I do? Well, let's keep going on that road. I'm gonna need at least one more food. Um, probably want to get this guy into my warehouse. And while I'd really like to make a blanket, because that's worth three points, I'm kind of having this tough decision. I also, there's a contract that I've got my eye on in the pile. So maybe what I need to do is to go sell this wool before I can get a blanket. And I'll worry about getting a blanket in a little bit. I think I have plenty of resources where I can just hop up there and do that. And so... For now, wait, where am I? I'm at the forest, okay. I could spend those to get a bean. Well, no, I'm at the forest, so I'm going to move. I could go to the market to get a coin, and then next time I'm going to end at the market. <laughs> Do you like my rambling? I'm going to end at the market so that I can get a contract next turn with that one coin. And so if I'm currently in the forest, I need to go down, get wood, and then I can come up here, store the llama. Yeah, okay, I think I know what I'm doing. So we are currently in the market, so I'm going to turn that in. That gets me three coins. Okay, so I'm currently at the forest, but I need to move. I'm going to go down to the road. That doesn't give me the corn I'm looking for, or the, well, yeah, well, the whatever. The corn I'm looking for, but um, I'm closer to it. And as I'm about to head over to convert this bean, in my brain I'm wondering, okay, well, what do I really want to get with that? Um, I, you know, my plan, I can get wood and I can get uh, water into that warehouse, no problem. Um, so it's kind of going to come, kind of going to kind of come down to contract desires. Um, so I don't want anything with fish because I've been terrible at fish. This would be 11 points. I do have the silver for that, but I don't have the wool. The blue player's kind of taken all of that wool. Um, this blanket and two, whatever that is, coals. I don't know. Um, would be nice. I've only got one. I could get another one from this, not necessarily that. And I've got to remember that, I mean, the end of the game is kind of creeping up on us. Ooh, I could get this one. Um, but that doesn't affect anything I've got going here. Okay, no fish. I could take that one. I know the blue player's eyeing that one. Or this one's, ooh, 17 points. <gasps> Yes, I probably do want that one, which means let's just grab for good measure to make sure that we can make it in, well, a blanket or water. Water's worth more points or silver and two wood. Yeah, I kind of want to go for this one. Okay, so I'm not grabbing this yet. I'm just keeping an eye on what I'm interested in. And let's go ahead and convert this to a water, uh, mostly for the point value, but also to make sure that I can um, have, I mean, heck, this is four points right now. Oh, when I got a little ahead of myself, I needed to travel to do that. And from the road, no, we were going to end up at the market, right? So from the road, let's go, let's go grab that last alpaca before anybody else can. Uh, I'm going over here. And yes, that was, oh, oops, wrong place. So the red player is done in the forest. They can go... Mm, I'm not in a rush to get to the harbor. So from the forest, let's go over to the market. 
Oh, no, sorry. The blue player needed to end in the market. <laughs> I'll just go... Should I just go to the harbor? Yeah, let's just... Let's go to the harbor. I haven't even thought about which boat card I want. I can't get any more alpacas. Ooh, probably want a blanket. Or what was the other thing? No, I already got... Oh. Hey, I could get a fish. <laughs> um, maybe I should get a fish here at the end of the game. That could open up the contract options for me. But I already kind of decided the contract that I want. Uh, let's go for a blanket. They're worth three points. Okay, so I need a blanket. That was a five-point move for me. And I need to make sure I discard these. And then finally, the blue player was the one that was going to end in the market. And we'll get rid of that to get a coin. Let's go move now. And now we can start cleaning up. And one thing that I've got to be cognizant of or thinking about is I, I don't think that there are that many more rounds to go. I still think I'll probably have enough to do what I want to do. But I have to be aware that I've kind of got to get through these tokens. I mean, I'm going through seven now on my road. So that, that is helpful for the blue player. But the red player isn't so lucky. They're still only using five at a time. And in order to fulfill these contracts that they're trying to fulfill, we're going to have to kind of bust through those uh, as fast as we can. And so I'm kind of worrying about the lack of blankets ending that. Like if we get rid of those blankets, it'll be over. But also, I mean, this is just plugging along. It's not like anybody's buying much these days again. But, you know, it is still kind of our timer. And let's go ahead and pass this over. Where, where? There. Yep, that's where we were going. Okay, so now we've got this one. I need to draw an additional six. And before I forget, I need to get a contract from the market, because I know I will forget. Uh, what have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. What in the world can I do? Um, i got to think a little bit. Let's see. I, if I remember right, the contract I was eyeing was going to be this one. Two alpacas and a wood. So if I get that contract, I could start putting on there. So let's put an alpaca there because I can get the contract first and then play on top of it. Um, that will be my market stuff. And then I need to move. When I move, I could start putting more things into the warehouse probably. And or I can come get a blanket or some water. Uh, water's worth one more point. Do I? I don't think I even have any blankets, do I? Yeah, so we'll probably go for the water on that one. Um, for this one, he could, there's no more wool to get, so I could just get him into the warehouse. So I'm going to need to travel. I'm going to definitely end up on the road at some point, and I don't have enough wool to get another warehouse row done, I don't think, because I don't think I'll be able to get more food. I'm going to get food on my next one, but that has to go down here. And then I'm going to hop up to eight tiles. I don't know that I can really do that with this one necessarily. But maybe I could, oh well, I could plan on getting to a blanket next round. Okay, so the red player is drawing five. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Oh, I did get five. Okay. Alrighty. <clears throat> um... Well, I'd like to get water into the warehouse. I'd also probably like to get wood into the warehouse. And I'd probably also like to get... Oh, I gotta get stuff on my contract. I gotta buy a contract, too. I'm gonna buy a contract. The contract I wanted was going to require a blanket. That blanket is going to the warehouse. Um, but I also wanted to get this. That needs to go there, too. Well, maybe I bring this down... And put the, these two things can go on the contract. These can go in the warehouse. I don't know what I'm doing with that. Is that really, that probably is going to the warehouse. I don't remember. Um, but it looks like we might need to be prepared to travel. And that traveling can get me to this spot to. Okay, so right now we are in the market. So I'm just going to spend that to pick up the contract that I wanted, which was this one. It's only 11 points, but it is 11 points, and it's utilizing things that I definitely have already. Um, we'll put it right there, maybe right there. The red player is at the harbor currently. He needs to leave. Uh, let's go to the homestead. 
And from there, we're gonna put this down here. And from the market, we were just gonna pick up, no, was I gonna pick up a coin? Hmm. I can't remember, was I gonna pick up a coin or probably just start, I think I was gonna start fulfilling this contract. I mean, it's not that near. We're probably two, three or four rounds away, depending on the market and blankets and stuff. But, you know, it's near enough where I'm being cognizant of that. What am I saying? Okay, where am I? I'm at the house. I'm going to put this down here. And from the market, we're going to go ahead and move. Um, let's go. Where do I want to go first? Uh, I can go to two places. Let's go house. No, let's go forest first because chances are better I'm going to need to do stuff at the house next time. So from the forest, or up here, no, to the forest. To the forest, but I'm going to get a water. And the red player is possibly foolishly adding this to the warehouse. Now the blue player is going to go from the forest uh, to the village house. And from there, I'm... <sighs> hoping I don't know that I'm thinking about this correctly definitely that one needs to go there I don't think I have enough to finish up a new row and I don't know that I'm I'm gonna get another food for road ing and then I will get one more food from that so maybe I can finish that row I'm just not a hundred percent convinced no I can't do that because that needs to come over here so this is gonna be one of those instances where I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> I don't I could probably do something different with that guy. I don't know that I need to put him in the warehouse. Either way, the red player is going to head to the market. And from there, he was going to buy the uh, other contract. Here, I'll just bring it over. This one. Oh, man. Can I get these contracts fulfilled? I really hope so. I need one to go on the contract. Uh, I don't know that I want to start a new row. I need one food. To come down here um well i mean another option i think is that i can leave this one empty and just go for the six pointer and just not get these three points but it just seems like i can make better use of that somehow somewhere else so do you know what the blue player might be passing yeah i think we're gonna go ahead and pass oh i guess i'm cleaning up at the same time sometimes my hands just have minds of their own uh but from here we were gonna add this one down here and then they're just gonna keep going because the blue player passed Put this one here, and then hopefully I'll be drawing those tokens to start filling these up, and I'm just hanging out here at the market. Uh, but that's the end of the red player's turn. Clean that up. This one gets lost. Slide these down. I just haven't been doing a good job focusing on money in this game, or in life. Let's get this guy passed over. I think we were putting him in there, and next up... We're still drawing five for red because they just didn't really focus on the road as much as they could have or should have. Maybe this turn. We'll see. Um, but it does seem like this turn... Oh, do I focus on the road? Because I could work on getting one more road and then fulfill that part of the contract later. But I think that's my only rocks, stones thing. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, I'm at the market. Let's get that put into place. Uh, where's a wool? Oh my gosh, I don't have a wool. What the heck? I thought that I totally had a wool. Why did I grab that contract? That was enormously stupid. I made a mistake, and I knew it in my brain, and I kept forgetting it, just like the stupid cart thing. Uh, you can only have one unfulfilled contract at a time. So as this was sitting here, I should not have been able to pick this guy up here. Um, so I got to find a way to balance out those two mistakes that I should not have been able to pick this up while this is here, but I've been piling stuff in there. Um, how can I make this fair? Okay, to make it fair, yes, I'm still going to force my, well, hmm, no. Okay, I'm going to not worry about that contract there. I am just going to put these in the warehouse. I imagine I would have been able to hop up there. This contract, I'm just going to put it back in the deck. And I won't be able to... Yeah, I am sorry. That was a silly oversight. As you could tell, managing these two, I'm losing my mind a little bit. Um, 
Okay, yeah, so I'm going to assume that I would have been able to come up to the village. Uh, I think that's a reasonable assumption. Um, sure, why not? And I will still keep that there. But having noticed I can't fulfill this, I'll probably turn that in for money. Uh, either way, I don't know. I just can't believe I forgot about that wool thing. And for the blue player, how much is in here? There's six of the seven. Oh, man. And these go in here. I need to randomly pick one. Okay. Lots and lots of food. What am I going to do? Well, I know that I'm going to go up here and get a blanket because that's a couple of points. I know I need to work on the road. Um, the question was, probably don't start another row. I'm so low on these chits. I might have begun the end game a little early. I could put more food here. So we've got this wool and this food. I don't know that it will do me much good. What if I put these over here and then plan on selling these? I'm not sure which places I want to visit this round. Um, I'm currently up here. That's not much and I don't even want to do that. Ooh, okay, I've got some thoughts to think. So the red player in the market. I'm going to put this in because I undid all my other stuff, right? I basically just lost 17 points because of my stupidity. So I'm going to put that there and that will get me some more coinage. So I'm up to five coins, but coins are worth nothing at the end of the game. So it's wise to start using them. I just need to. And in fact, with all of my hullabaloo, I probably would have put some coinage here to work on resource. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm so sad. I'm not convinced I'm going to be able to get these points, but let's add this guy here. Again, as I've talked about, I'm going to need three corns. I definitely see two corns on the horizon. I don't know that I see three. Let's see what we can do. And the red player is leaving the market and going to the mountains. They're going to get a silver for these things here. Let's put the blue player over on the alpaca farm. And that's going to get them a blanket. I'm struggling. Oh my gosh, the red player can't move again. I thought we could move again. I need to get to the road. This is going to be unpopular, but I'm going to undo this. Jeez, why, why am I losing my mind with this? I don't even know. So just so you know, on the map, I am moving myself to the road to spend these to move myself down one, because again, I was trying to get through those things. I can get to the mountain anytime. Um, yeah, okay, forgive that rewindle, uh, but now they are passing. And the blue player is going to head uh, to, <laughs> let's not commit the same mistake here. Let's go down to the road, and that's gonna move this here, give us the corn, like that. And then we're gonna travel to the market, Oh, I don't have a wood. Well, the wood is down here. Okay, so these came here for the road. And then I went to the market. And from there, because the red players pass, I'm putting that there. And I'm selling this for one coin. And at this point, we start to clean up. So this is gone. Slide these down. That's a pretty, this is a pretty good one. Um, oh, um, I totally forgot about this tile. Okay, so this tile, if somebody buys this, this means that at the end of the game, uh, when you go to store your warehouse, you can draw 10 tiles from the bag. You can't start any new rows, but you can fill in the rows that you've got. That could be extremely helpful for the red player, because as I mentioned, I don't know that they're going to have time to really put stuff like they're trying to dig through their bag basically that seems like it could be a good one for them so we'll pass this along and we're gonna go ahead and draw our seven so there's two dump these um oh my gosh i don't even know how many more i have one two three four five okay so there's our seven And got another wood and a wool out there. All right. So kind of sucks that I didn't get the wood out this time. 
uh, I would have loved to fulfill that contract and get the thing and score the points and all that stuff. But I could make a little bit of money if I go to the market. Um, I can't buy another contract. I need to not forget that. But I could do some... Mm, I don't know. The I don't know that the expansion tiles that I'm looking at are going to be overly helpful for me. So instead, I need to plan on getting one more road thing. It'd be awesome if I could get another one. Um, yeah, I can go to the mountains. I could go to the forest, get another water. This water is totally useless on this board. Um, I could go store it just to get it out of the way. Let's think, what else? This wool and this food could get me one more blanket. Again, that's just points at that point. Uh, I need to travel though. Um, where all do I even want to go this turn? I'm currently at the market, so I could do that. And then I could move and go to the mine. I could move and then go to the forest. And then I can move and go... Okay, I think... I think I've got that worked out. So the red player is going for six this time. So we've got these three. Dump these in. Three more. Oh, that was too many. Well, I can't feel. There we go. Okay, let's be wise. I could go get some more water. That's fine. I could go sell this silver. Super fun. I need to keep, I keep forgetting to bring this guy down. I don't know that he would help me or anything, but having him stuck up there is a little dumb. I mean, I guess I could go get food with him, right? Maybe. Uh, I can plan on traveling. I'm currently on the road. Should I just plan some travels like that? Where does this one go? Um, I want to put this... Well, how about this? If I'm really going to buy that one market tile, which I think would be a good idea, um, it's currently costing five. If I really get that, as long as I start this row, I could be able to fill it in later. So yeah, if I can get that into the warehouse, that'll be good. That's kind of interesting. I actually thought, I thought the blue player was going to blow the red player away in terms of the market stuff. Um, but while I'm at the market, what do I want to buy? I want to get... Um, Oh, geez. I, I think I want to wait for the thing to come down in price, but it would be nice to buy something while I'm there. Um, let's buy... Let's just buy the cheapo one for now. And the extra action space? Can I make use of that? I don't know. Sure. Okay, so I'm at the market, so I am going to sell that and pick up some money. The red player is currently on the road, so they need to travel over to the mountains. With, oh, what am I doing? With those. From the market, let's go to the forest. Yeah, let's go to the forest. And from there, I'll get another water. The red player is going to leave the mountains to go to um, the forest to get this last water. Oh, man. From the forest, we're going to go to the mountains. Right? Either the mountains or the field. Let's just go to the mountains. Uh, that's going to get us a stone when we do that. And yes, I know it's the end of the game. I have clarified. This is stone. This is ore, not coal. Whatever. Uh, what was I getting? Oh yeah, I was getting stone. Oh, not there. I forgot to discard this. I know, that's completely shocking. You guys can hardly believe it. Um, I want to go to the... Where do I want to go? Um, whoosh. So I got to go to these two spots, the village and the field. Okay, so I'm going to spend this food to go to the field. And I'm not sure this is the best use of whatever, but I'm going to finally get that guy off that space. 
And the blue player can no longer move, so they'll just pass. And the red player is going to get to the market. And from there, we were going to sell some silver for three coins. And then we were going to buy a camp by a contract. Oh, yeah. I'm going to discard this. And also these. I was going to... Oh, oh, how many was that? That's three. One and... What the H was I going to do with one and three? Uh, I think... Hold on. Don't hate me. I need to have a two on there. Yeah. Because I did have... I thought that that was a one. I'm so dumb. Okay, so one and three gets me these two tiles. And I mean two and three. Oh my gosh, I am losing my mind. Happy Mother's Day, everybody, by the way. Uh, when I am finishing recording this, even though I've been working on it most of the week. And this guy, oh, is a market tile. I am so out of space right now. Uh, yep, we'll put that there-ish. Now that both players are done, we're going to clean up. And... This goes here. Ooh, two spaces at the house as you try to store up for the winter. And, oh, yes, uh, food spots. This is really probably not helpful, but you can temporarily store corn there in case you wanted, like, with that issue where I had to put the corn in the one spot, you could store it up there. But, you know, whatever. And then it goes to the uh, warehouse. And now, the, my best understanding in this situation where we have filled this completely is that at the end of the next round, we will not have enough tiles to fill this, and so then we'll do one more round. So I think I've got two more rounds, as best as I have been able to interpret that part of the rule book. And so with that in mind, slide these over, slide these over, pass this along. Yep. So much happening in this little tiny play area. All right, so I am red player drawing six tiles. Let's see how many are in here. Oh man, there's eight. Okay, so how about this? These two tiles will not be in. Keeping the rest. And what are we doing? Uh, probably want to get this into the warehouse. Probably want to sell that silver. Um, road, yes. Road would be a good thing. And a blanket into the warehouse. Oh, into the warehouse. That would be up here. I've got more space if I need it. And a food. Uh, let's think. Where am I? I am currently at the market to do this one thing. And then I travel. And yeah, okay. That's the red. That was fast. For the blue player, they are drawing seven. So, oh. <laughs> Wrong place. <laughs> okay, and then these go in here, and then I need four more. One, two, three, four. okay. One, two, three, four. Oh man, tons of food. Okay. Not sure how useful this turn will be, but I do have lots of food and a stone. Okay, so this is gonna come over here. Do you know what I never did is I never built a house, but this guy should be building a house. So I'm gonna put that stone up there. Um. And we're going to use our food because we're currently in the mountains. I could use the mountains to get some more stone while I'm there. Um, yes, yes. Um, I'm trying to train my great niece to do the Keith Morrison. Yes, from Dateline. So she was over for some Mother's Day celebrations. So that was fun. Uh, next, what am I doing with this wool? I guess I could get some money that I won't really use. Probably, oh, do you know what? Can I snake this from the expansion board? Probably. Well, but the red player also should have put some money. They are going to the market. Okay, I'll, I'll put some money in the market. Don't worry. And um, this food, we'll make sure that we can really travel real good. And before we, you know, continue their turn, let's do make sure that we put this, because they really do need that one expansion, and the blue player is going for it. We kind of eyed each other. And hopefully we'll have a race to see who gets there first. But the first person to get there will be the red player because they're already at the market. So they're going to grab this tile. I don't know where to put it there. The blue player is sad and mad, but what can they do? They'll put these here, grab a stone. The red player will sell the silver. The blue player is going to miss out on the one that they wanted, but that's okay. They can get something else, but I don't know that I'll go to the market right this minute. Let's go grab a 
Well, well, let's go to the road. I know I want to go to the road. Okay, so we're moving to the road. I'm going to really try to get to the road one more time. I just need one more corn. The red player's done at the market. Let's send them to the road as well. This will get them a corn. And let's put the corn right there, I believe. Because I've only got one. Well, I got that water. Yeah, let's just do that to be safe. And then the blue player will go... Do I get my blanket or do I go store? No, what was I going to... Why are those there? I get Maybe I was going to store them. Store. Well, that one was for the house, right? I was going to build the house. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about going there for now. Let's come up to the field and grab a blanket. And the red player needs to get up to the uh, to the village. And from there... Uh, I was going to start a new row with that one. And the blue player was going to move. Let's send them to the market now. Where they will go ahead and sell that just for one coin. One silly, silly coin. They were going to add this water into the warehouse. Blue has up to three coins here. We could spend what we need. Which, let's just buy this one for two coins. I hardly think I'm going to be able to use it, but um, if I can, if I could get one water out of three coins, that would be great. So this is just going to come back. And then we're going to put this down here. And then finally, the blue player is going to make their way back to the village. And in the village, they're going to store that water. I won't be able to finish that row, but at least it's there. The red player passes. And the blue player passes because we're planning on getting one more stone up there. Oh, man, but we only have one more round. I don't know if I can. Um, but I'm going to real try. Real try, guys. Slide all these down. Like that. Clean up here. Pass this along. And here we go. Last round. I don't think I'm going to be able to do everything that I was hoping to do. Uh, we'll just do the best we can. Okay, so I actually get eight. I get to fill all eight spots. I really need my stone. I need a stone. Can I? One, one two. Uh, three, four. I need a stone. Crap. Okay. Well, that's a shame. I was hoping to build that house. I never did. Okay. Boo. Sad. Annoyed. <sighs> there were two stones in there. Dang it. Okay. Well, I know that I need to get this onto the contract. That will get me another food, but I don't have even a stone to get, um, or another wood to get to the road to get the last food that I was hoping to get. So that kind of sucks there. Um, what else could I do? Uh, I don't have three coins to use that spot there. That's too bad. Um, well, we could store, get another water for points. Uh, what would I do with that blanket? Nothing. Well, we could go get another blanket. Those are some more points. And at this point, money doesn't do anything for me. So, I mean, I could sell stuff, but I can't use the money that I get to do anything. That's just worthless. I probably want to travel. Okay, so where am I now? I am currently at the village. I need to travel once, twice, every, I don't need to do anything with anything else. So for the red player, they are only drawing six. Okay, so they got these two. Oh, <laughs> one, two, three. Oh, that was four. Okay, what could they do? We're just going for points now. I could... See, silver's worth three points, so I could put this and this here to get some silver. I could put these up here to get a boat. Oh, but I don't have enough. I don't have any food to move around. How did that happen? I had all my food last time. Uh, getting silver from the market is not useful at this point. Um, but I could. Convert two coins into set. Well, can I get around? I don't have any food to get around unless I use that food But I think I'd rather get the well. Oh, 
we're going to have to math this out. These two together are going to get me three more points because they get me a silver. If I come over here, these two coins could get me two points for that. And I would have to use a food probably to do all the traveling. There's two points up there too. I can only move to one place. I'm currently up here, not doing anything. Um, but, oh, but I could use a coin to travel. So I'm currently in the village, not doing anything. I can go to the harbor with that one. I could go to the mountains with that one. And I don't have another coin to travel to it there. Uh, I think oof, we're just going to call that good. So for the blue player, I'm still mad I did not get those stones. That is so frustrating. Um, but what can you do? All right, so I am currently in the village, not doing anything with this. I could store it. Doesn't matter. Um, sure. And red player needs to just move somewhere else. They'll go to the, uh, the mountains. And in the mountains, we'll get a silver. And something that maybe you're asking yourself is, I mean, I could have stored this while I was at the house because of the, uh, because of this, but I only have, oh no, maybe I can and should. Yes, yes, because I, I didn't set the other silver. Okay, we've stored that silver and I'll just do two blue turns in a row. So two blue turns in a row. Yeah, I know I'm terrible. Okay, so they are going to store this water, which won't get them points because there's no more water to be had. Uh, and then their other turn, they'll move down here, make a blanket. And the red player had used these, slide this over, spend this in order to hop over to the harbor. Nope, that's not us. That's us. Okay, what's the most expensive thing I can grab? Um, or the most point value? Probably the silver. Well, yeah, hey, silver. There we are, talking about silver again. Maybe I didn't need, it's a, it's a thing. Uh, yes, so we're grabbing this silver. Three points. Put that there, and no, oh, that goes in there. That'll be good just to help my chances, because I have more than 10 tokens here, and I need three more silver. And the blue player should have discarded these. And they're going to move. There's no more water to pick up, but there is another. Oh, I need to move. I can only move once, huh? Dang, why didn't I plan that very well? Okay, I'm going to go to the market so that I can fulfill that contract, and then this will just kind of be wasted. And that's going to get me... 11 points and a corn, which here we go. It goes there. I'm still one short of having those six points. I just feel like that's like the theme of the blues scoring saga is going to be just short of whatever. And the red player can't move, so they are done. Okay, so that was the end of the game. Now it is time for scoring. So what I need to do is I need to take out all of these goods and every good that is out and about we will score, except for these goods that are on uh, the, uh, what is that? The order card or the contract card. Probably, I think it's called an order. It doesn't matter. I have slaughtered so many wonderful words in this game. Okay, so first thing to point out is that any extra uh, coins or food or, uh, or food or corn or fish or alpacas, they don't do a dang thing for scoring. So I'm just going to kind of put these up here because I don't need them anymore. All right. Next for each. Well, here, let's label this. This is blue. This is red. Okay. So for each stone, uh, wood, cocoa cacao, whatever. That's going to be one point. So I need to kind of take a look. I've got, um, did I get my, yeah, my board is cleared off. Okay. So I've got one, two, three of these one point ones here. Uh, four, this is not going to give me points down in my warehouse at all. And then, yeah, is that it? Four single point things? I think so. Okay. So I'm going to put these here. I've got four points for single point stuff. I know you can't see that. There you go. Oh, I'll pack it. Get out of the way. Okay, so now two point stuff. That would be these as well as the ore. I don't have any ore that I can see. So, um, oh, do you know what? 
Yeah, these alpacas are zero points. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that will be uh, 16 points for that. Okay, so that's our two point stuff. Our three point stuff will be blankets and silver. So one, two, three blankets. That's nine. Because I don't have those down here. And then water is four points each. So I have two waters. That's eight. Okay, I didn't have any boats. I didn't have any houses. I'm so angry about that. And we didn't even talk about houses, but houses have a tile on them. So like maybe alpacas. And at that point, every alpaca would be worth one point more. So I was really hoping to grab the wool house, but I just didn't. Okay, uh, contracts. I got 11 points for those contracts there, that one. And then for my warehouse, just your filled rows. So that's five, nine, 14 points there. And then these are mission cards, which I did not play with that expansion. So let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, math in real life. Okay, this is 29, uh, 30, 29, that would be 37, uh, 48, oh my gosh, 48, that would be a 2, carry the 1, 6, 62 points for blue. I think red has really, really dominated here, but let's go take a look because, you know, they sucked at that contract stuff. But remember, before scoring, we need to do this. So what I need to do is draw 10 tiles. How many? I don't even know how many are in here. Three. Two, oh, okay. One of these tiles does not get drawn, right? Oh, let me just triple check, make sure I understand how that works. No, yeah, I'm totally right. Okay, so I think I have 11 things in here. So one of these things doesn't get drawn. I don't think I'm going to get that silver row finished. Dang it. Okay, so this one's not getting drawn. These are 10 goods. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Yeah, there's ten. But remember, food does not go in the warehouse. So let me pull those out. I can't start any new rows. So this goes here and here. This goes here. Oh, man. That power was not as powerful as I thought it would be, or if I had planned it better, it would have been better for me. But I don't have any wood. Can't start a new row. Okay. So that didn't end up getting me what I wanted, but that's okay. All right. So holy cow. Where are we going to do this? I'm going to dump these out right here. Sure. Coming around. And um, our zero point things. Nothing for that. Nothing for these. Oh my gosh, my hands. Uh, nothing for these. Nothing for that. Nothing else on there, I don't think. Okay, so we've got these were three pointers. Wood was a one pointer, one pointer, four pointer. I think that was a two-pointer. Yes. Yes. Okay. Cool. Got it. Let's grab this thing. Oh, do you know what? I'm coming to the left. I like being on the left. I'm kneeling down. Okay. <clears throat> so wood, stone, beans. So four points up here. So that's four. But then we had five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So nine points for the single stuff. And then for the wool and ore, one. <laughs> okay, so two points for that. And then for the blankets and silver, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times three is 24. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I really think red is cleaned house. And then all this water, one, two, three, four, five. So five times four is 20. Boom. Yeah, they did a lot better, that red player. And then boats, two points each. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's 12 points there. Man, yeah, they've already, I think they've already passed blue. Uh, no houses, because I'm dumb. And no contracts, because I'm extra dumb. And then the warehouse, that will be two, five, nine, 14. Same as the other player. And no mission. Okay, so what do we got? We've got 11. That would be 35, 55, 67, 67, carry the one, 81 points. So 62 to 81, the victory goes to the red player. So there you have it. Altiplano, congratulations to the red player. Um, even with the the 
bull crap with the contract. My complete mistake, completely. Um, they just managed to pull out a victory, and I don't know if I'd say it's substantial, but it was a pretty good victory. Um, so what do I think? I talked about in the setup video, I feel like the components, for whatever reason, I need to re-go feel the Orleans ones, but I felt like these just felt a little cheaper than the Orleans. As I mentioned, as I was punching things out, um, I said this in the setup video, things kind of started to fray more than I would have liked. It didn't punch as cleanly as I would have liked. That was kind of frustrating. And also, it just had a weird feel to it. Like, it kind of felt... It just felt like dusty or something. I don't even know. But yeah, components are not not the best, but not terrible. Um, I I don't know how to explain it. I really really struggled with the rule book. Um, I it's not a super long rule book. I talked about that in the setup video as well. There are some pictures, but I feel like the pictures that are there are not overly helpful. There were examples, but I felt like the examples were could have been better. I don't know. I just struggled with that rule book, and, and for such a simple game, I spent a ton of time on Board Game Geek and watching other videos trying to make sure that I understood exactly how things needed to click. So, for whatever reason, there was a layer of complexity here and in the rule book that made it harder for me to learn, which, which honestly made it harder for me to want to record this. I knew I was going to be making mistakes, and I did make mistakes, as you saw, um, just because I kept forgetting dumb little things. And this game is all about the puzzle. So I think I mentioned early on in the video that I was going to put less time into the planning. But ultimately, that is what this game is. The time is put into the planning of the boards. The actions happen like snap, snap, snap. Those happen really fast. But it's the planning that takes time and takes thinking and strategizing and all that stuff. So, I mean, obviously, that's the thing. But a lot of the planning in normal games, I feel like you could kind of do quickly in a video. But where this one, that was kind of the heart of the game. Now, this or Orleans, um, I, I can't tell you one way or the other. For me, I love Orleans, so I would probably play that before I'd play this one. This has some nice layers of complexity, which is kind of a mixed bag for me. So, in other words, I like the, lo I, I like the idea of having these locations and that you've got to manage your traveling as you go from one to the other. Um, but also it's kind of frustrating because it adds this weird level of puzzle. And I love puzzles, so I don't know why I'm kind of annoyed about this. And I like that depending on where your locations are, that can kind of change the game, but not that much. Like, how many times did I use food to move? Not that many. So I like having the randomization, but also on the other hand, I don't know that it was worth it when compared to how slick and smooth Orleans is. Um... I kind of appreciate these generic spaces, but also, as you're thinking about how to plan, like, it is, it's not obvious how to get whatever. Like, Orleans, you look at the board and you're like, okay, to get a knight, I need these things. But here, it's like, if you want a fish, you can't just look at the board and know how to get a fish. And fish can come from getting boats, which means, you, like, it just isn't obvious as you're planning things, as obvious as the other stuff. Obviously, your starting tiles give you direction, and I do like that each person starts with different things. Uh, but crazy that no fish came out here, and I could have, like, as far as I could see, the only way that I could have gotten a fish was a boat tile. Um, or I think there were some expand extension tiles that would have done that too. But, yeah, anyway, so it is in my opinion, more complex than Orleans, and in some ways that's a positive if you like the puzzle, but in other ways it's negative just because at least learning the game is pretty tough. I, I don't think that this game feels comfortable after one or two plays. I think you need three or more plays to like start getting your groove. That's my opinion, of course. You might disagree, and probably you do disagree, but that's how I feel about that. Anyway, enough rambling. I liked it. I think I had overhyped it in my brain because of my love of, of Orleans, and it didn't quite match that level of uh, intensity for me, but obviously I need to give it a couple more plays for sure. So that was Altiplano. Thank you guys for watching. If you made it all the way through the end, uh, through my mistakes, I appreciate it, and I will, uh, you know, see you guys later. Bye! Happy Mother's Day.